This instructional video will assist in the AutoSense Smart Motor Sensor commissioning process. First, you must install the ADI AutoSense SMS app on your mobile device and open the app. To complete the setup of an SMS on a motor, you need to connect it to an existing 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network in the plant. Note that only password-protected Wi-Fi networks can be used. Make sure you can see that the network is available in the Wi-Fi settings of your mobile device where the motor resides and that there is a good signal. This connectivity must be enabled 24-7 so the device can communicate with the cloud server at all times. Do not insert the batteries until you are prompted to do so in the mobile app. If they have already been inserted, please remove them. You can only log into this app by invitation. If you did not receive an invitation email, you can contact a sales representative through the app. Enter your credentials and agree to the terms and conditions. If it's the first time you're entering information for this account, you'll be prompted to run a network validation test that should be done close to where the SMS will be installed. But first, you can tap on the Motors tab to start building your dashboard. In this example, SMS devices have already been installed on this account, so the dashboard presents a graph view of the monitoring situation. By tapping on the Motors tab, you are presented with a list of previously added locations. If your location is not on this list, tap on the Add Location button. This screen presents your current location and address. If the location is incorrect, you can use the search bar to find it. The locations list is updated with your newly added location, and you can tap on it to proceed. You now need to add a plant to your location. Tap on the Add a Plant button. Enter your plant name. And when you're finished, tap Add Plant. Tap on your newly added plant, then tap on the Add a Process button. Enter your process name and save it. Select the newly added process, and next we will start commissioning an SMS device on a specific motor. Tap on the Add Motor button. This screen will display the current Wi-Fi network you are connected to. If you haven't tested your network yet, you can stand close to the motor and run the test to make sure your network is correctly configured to allow the SMS device to communicate with the cloud. Tap Done when the test is complete. You can tap Use Network or Select Another Network if you want to connect the SMS device to another network. Once you've entered the right network, proceed to the next screen. Remove the four outer screws of the SMS device and insert the batteries. Note that you do not need to reassemble the device until the setup is complete. Once it's done, tap Batteries Have Been Inserted. You now need to navigate out of the app and to the Wi Fi settings. Powering up the device makes it generate a Wi-Fi network with the same numbering as the device, starting with the letters SMS. You will have five minutes to complete the commissioning flow. Wait for your SMS device to appear and select it. Now wait for the blue tick to appear next to the SMS network. Select it and return to the app. Your mobile device establishes an initial connection with the SMS device. Next, you need to select the Wi-Fi network the SMS will join. You can select it from the available Wi-Fi networks list, or manually enter in the details of the Wi-Fi network. Enter the SSID and the password for the Wi-Fi network and press Connect to start the final step in commissioning. The SMS and app will now communicate with one another and with the cloud to securely establish a connection so that the SMS can start sending data. This can take up to a minute. Once the commissioning is complete, you can start entering in the motor details. Enter the motor name. Then a manufacturer. You can either choose a manufacturer from the list or add a new one. Then enter the rated power that you can select from the list. The rated voltage. The number of poles. 
Select the frequency, the type of connection, the type of drive, the efficiency level, and finally, the model. Note that some of these fields are optional. Once you're done, tap Check Motor Details. You will see a recap of the data you entered. You can edit it if needed. Tap Confirm Motor Details to finalize the creation of this motor. By tapping on View Motor, you will find it in the list of motors for that process. By tapping on Dashboard, you will see that there is a new motor in the list. It will appear in gray on the graph, as long as the device has not sent data. Once the first set of data reaches the cloud, the device will be displayed in blue, the color of the learning mode. Now that the commissioning is complete, it's time to affix the SMS to the motor. Please check our tutorial video to see how to proceed.